Of course, water service involves a lot more than just reserving and treating water. You have to get it where it's going. Once the water finishes the treatment process at the plant, it's obviously it has to be uh, moved from one place to another. That can be done either by gravity uh, or uh, pumping. Uh, we try to use gravity as much as possible because it doesn't cost anything. This starts at the E.M. Johnson plant, which does more than clean Raleigh's water. It also controls it. Um, we control manually um, all the distribution system for the city of Raleigh. We've got uh, approximately 250,000 service connections. Um, we, all the tank levels are controlled manually by plant operators such as myself. That is, using a computer program that captures data from throughout the system, plant operators make decisions about treatment volume at the plants, about the status of pumps in 27 pump stations, the levels in 25 elevated storage tanks, and the flow of water in the 2,300 miles of pipes Raleigh uses to serve its nearly half million customers. You got to, you know, to be a good operator, you know, you need to have good forethought and good hindsight. Overnight, when use is low, the plant fills up elevated storage tanks. During the day, gravity keeps that water flowing into the system and water pressure high as the tanks drain, only to be filled again at night. If we can put the water in the air, we only have to pump it one time to get it in the air, uh, then it can gravity feed uh, out to different areas. And there are always contingencies. I'm preparing um, Lenny, he's not on camera, but he's the uh, oncoming operator senior that'll be relieving me. Um, I'm having forethought that we got a thunderstorm coming through about 8 p.m. tonight. It's supposed to be a pretty bad ban. Thunderstorms, for some reason, cause people to stop using water. So Ennis leaves space in some of the storage tanks for the water the plant will produce at that time. So, you know, I don't want to get him in a bind later on having a lot of water on hand with nowhere to store it. You know, I just don't run my eight-hour shift. I look into his shift and I look back what I came into. Irrigation schedules, drought, storms, holidays, vacations, the big game. Everything affects water use and managers plan for it all. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And just like the people at the water plants, distribution crews are working 24 hours a day, every day, every year. Rain, snow, heat, they're keeping your water coming. Inserting valves, exercising hydrants, fixing breaks and leaks, performing maintenance. All of our pipes, our valves, meters, hydrants, everything uh, that, that uh, touches the water has a, a lifespan on it. And as those things uh, reach the end of their uh, cycle, we have to replace them. So when the guys aren't fixing main breaks, they're uh, replacing older pipes, older services, valves, things like that. You see the pipes, valves, and tanks every day, but it's the people that keep the system running. The city of Raleigh would be a very thirsty place without these guys.